Welcome back to the iPlay Hockey Development Program. In the second aspect of the technical side of things, what we're going to look at examining right now is working through our edges, but examining the relationship between the base of support and the center of gravity. What we're going to ask the girls to do here right now is they're going to use their right leg to perform small one-foot jumps over top of the stick that's on the ice. The important things we're looking for is that they don't kick up their heels, they're not looking down. The natural tendency is going to be to want to kick up our heel as we make the jump, which is going to force my upper body over. We're going to stay away from that, keeping our head centered and looking straight down the ice. And when we make the jumps, we're looking to ask them to use their edges to make the jump, whether it be an outside jump, an outside edge to make the jump to the right, and an inside edge to make our jump to the left. Same principles apply. We're looking for a bend at the ankles, which will drop the knees, which will drop the hip, maintaining our balance. Okay, girls, go ahead. Back again, good. Excellent. Now stop. Now here's what's going to happen. Natural tendency, especially with young hockey players, is going to be just like she was here. They're going to have a tendency to make a big, big jump, throwing themselves all the way over here where their foot ends up on an inside edge here, but now their center of gravity has nothing underneath them. And what happens? I fall down. So what I'm looking for them to do is take smaller jumps, working on maintaining that, that center of gravity over that base of support, being their leg. Small jumps, being in control, making the push once again. Every time they land, they're looking at sitting down to control the waver in their legs. Let's switch legs this time, coming to the other side. Go ahead. Good. As they're going, you're gonna see if they take big, big steps and they're a little bit too far away, like Ashley's working herself right back to where she needs to be close to the stick, so she's able to take small jumps Focusing on using her edge to give her the push, not her free leg, not anything else. Back and forth, they've got good form, head is straight forward, small steps, maintaining their balance throughout. Excellent. Good job. Don't use your upper body too much, that's it. Small jumps, working right back to it. Small jump. Good. Excellent. What's going to happen as well when you're seeing this, guys, is that you're going to find out that we're going to have one dominant leg and one non-dominant. We are asking Ashley right there to use her non-dominant leg, which she struggled with a little bit more than she would her dominant leg, okay? Good stuff to use, easy, simple, highly effective.